One day, the very great Russian cellist, Stislav Rostopovich, called me. And on the phone, he called me, Sonishko mayo, Sonishko mayo, which means my little son. I thought this was rather flattering until I realized that he was calling just about everybody that way. And um, he was inviting me to come and spend an evening with him at his wonderful, beautiful um, Persian flat on Avenue Georges Mandel. So I came to his uh, place and he had said that he had prepared something for me. What he had prepared was a huge garbage bag full of video cassettes which contained um, some of the films that had been made about him, some of the documents, you know, various audiovisual documents that existed. And towards the early hours of the morning, I finally said to him, would you perhaps like me to make a film one day about you? And he said, uh, after I die. I was quite struck. But two weeks later, I was in the same flat in Paris, and this time with the great lyric and dramatic soprano Vishnevskaya, Gelina Vishnevskaya, Rostopovich's wife. And she said to me right away, what are you waiting for to make a film about Slava? And I just told her that two weeks before I had talked to him about the, that possibility. And she'd say, he'd said, uh, after I die. She looked at me fiercely and said, In a mild version, it means, you're such a twit. Didn't you understand that it meant right away? So 15 years after that and 10 years after Mstislav Rostopovich's death, here's a film that I finally made about him.